Welcome back to another Mermaid Monday where we talk about everything mermaid. So today we are talking about everything props. So this is the part two of the accessories portion of this series. This is the final episode into the series that I made. Tails, tops, and accessories, oh my. If you guys want to see the full playlist, I will link it below or hit that card in the corner of your screen. So props, what are props? Props are different tools that can be used for photos to help educate kids and use in your performances. Anything of the sort is considered a prop. Props can be used in a bunch of different ways and can be pretty much anything. Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite props. So the first one today that I'm going to be showing you is my conch shell. Um, I actually lost mine after the hurricanes, but luckily the house I'm living at now has quite a few. So I do use this one instead. It is a beautiful conch shell. I believe they found this one at a beach and I can't remember where. But they are very common in the Florida Keys and the Bahamas. And many people actually eat conch and sell the shells. Many people can blow through this as a horn. Mine cannot because it has a little bit of a crack in the top. So the sound is not very pleasant. But if you have a good conch shell, you can blow it like a horn, um, which throughout history has been shown by, used by merfolk, which throughout history have, which throughout history, there's been many different depictions of merfolk using these as sort of a battle cry or a megaphone of sorts, pretty much just a call. So I personally, in my Marsona, use it as a phone. Because you know what they say, if you put your ear to the shell, you'll hear the ocean. So this is a perfect example of my own little Marsona. In my Marsona, I use this as a shell to talk to other sea creatures who may need my help around the reef. Basically, you used to call me on my shell phone. The conch can also be used for photography purposes um, and any other way that you can use a shell as a prop. Education, if needed, you can tell kids about the conch and educate them on where the shells come from. So there's many uses for this shell. I love the phone call kind of thing, so that's usually what I stick with. But again, you can use it for like photos, you could have it as like a cool prop show kids, have kids touch it, you know. Um, speaking of kids and professional mermaiding purposes, I have my baby turtle. So a lot of what I do is based on turtles and ocean education. I'm a very big environmentalist, so I oftentimes have a little stuffed animal turtle with me. This is my favorite one. He's my little buddy. I used to sell um, these plushies when I was in Florida. And kids do love them. So if a kid is being too shy at an event, I oftentimes have this turtle or a slightly larger pool toy turtle, which I'll use at birthday parties as well, to get the shy kids to kind of come closer so their parents can get a picture. I also sometimes use them as demonstrations for like how a turtle grows up. I had three different sizes of turtles, so I would show them how a turtle grows up using a book and using stuffed animals as a demonstration. It always goes over pretty well adorable. So this is my little buddy. Many other merfolk have kind of like a stuffed animal or a fake animal um, prop that they use either at kids parties for online purposes or for photo shoots. Um, sometimes it's like an aquatic animal, other times it's not. It really just depends on the person. Another prop that I oftentimes use is my inflatable clamshell. So here's a photo of me in it. A lot of times I use this as kind of like a photo backdrop for people to sit on with and take a photo or I use this as like a shell thrown to sit on at different performances and birthday parties just to show. I also have a pool float that is slightly different that I can use for different performances that I can rest on if needed during a performance of sorts. It's a lot of different things. So pool floaties are super awesome props 
especially for like land performances and professional mermaiding. We're just casual hanging around the pool time, either way. Another fun prop I like to use is this skull head that I actually got in, uh, I believe it was Honduras is where we were, or it was when we were in Belize. So I went on a cruise with my family um, years ago, I believe it was three years ago. Um, and I got this porcelain school head. So you can imagine customs. Definitely was curious about it, but I got it on vacation and wanted to keep it with me. So whenever I do like a Halloween style photo shoot, sometimes I will have my school head there with me. Um, throughout the rest of the year, it pretty much just sits on a shelf looking pretty. It also has a little mini me from when I was red tailed mermaid that I kind of keep inside, you know, because I got to have a little mini me inside my school head. Another great prop that people tend to overlook because they're not traditional props is always children's books. So a lot of mermaids will read children's books or draw inspiration from certain children's books, really come up with their own persona from the book or to educate or inspire kids or just to entertain. These are always super awesome. I always use, um, a book about turtles. I use uh, the Mermaid Chan had wrote a book about sea turtles. There is Mermaid Cariel's The Brave Mermaid. There's always the Rainbow Fish and a couple other children's books that I love to read to other kids, especially as a mermaid. Many people wouldn't consider these books to be props, but I do because they are a tool in which you use while mermaiding. And the final prop that I personally use that I'm going to talk about today is my starfish. So before I had a real starfish that again lost after the hurricanes. So now I use this decorative starfish in my YouTube videos. It's actually really cool and really pretty. We use it as like a decoration in the living room unless I'm filming a video in which I bring it in here to use as my outro. So this one is one of my favorite props because this is one that I use all the time, at least weekly. Many people have different kind of ways that they use props. Um, I would recommend definitely getting your persona together, thinking of what you like, you know, just get whatever you like and everything kind of comes together on its own. And it's really cool that things happen that way. Like for me, I acquired all of these things over the past four years and it's only a few amount of things that I really use as props. I do think it would be super cool to get a Capricorn, like a silicone little buddy that I can just swim with and having like a pool toy prop. But we'll see how that goes. So if you are a small artist who kind of works with silicone and makes different sea creators, I would love to check them out. So comment below if you have any recommendations. And here we've reached all of my favorite props. So if you have made it this far in the video, go ahead and let me know which prop is your favorite of mine and which prop is your favorite of yours and tell me why. Hopefully this all helps you with your mermaid look. I really do love showing you guys everything that I have. So these are all of my items, tails, tops, accessories, Oh my! Again, if you want to see the full playlist, it's linked below and I already put it in a card, so just hit up there in the corner and you'll see the video. Just take a click and watch them all the way through. Be sure to follow me on all of the social medias down below. This video is sponsored by myself because I don't get sponsors. So if you want to support me and what I do and things that I love, go ahead and check out my website and sign up for that waitlist, which is an online community for guppies and guppy resources. I don't have an official launch date, but we will see. This has been a very fun Mermaid Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Mermaid kisses and starfish wishes.